All right, everybody, let's do today's homework for Farm 208, week three, Thursday. So questions one, two, and three goes together. So it's TPM-based solutions. So we'll organize our information. So I got solution, order, supply, and MLs. And for this one, we're going to need some dextrose. We're going to need some amino acids, sterile water for injection. And our total volume for number one is going to be 1,000 ml. So take out your calculators and follow along. Yeah, it's going to be week three Thursday. And the access code is on the board. All right, let's fill in our orders. So for dextrose, the order is 15%. For amino acid, it is 2 You want, you want week three Thursday. So you're at, this is the one I had skipped to. You want the one that's number three, order week three Thursday. Order week three Thursday. I think we're going to go with week three, right? Yeah, we're just pushing whatever we think is correct. All right, so now that you're all here, let's fill in our orders. So dextrose is 15, amino acids is two. So for question number one, they're just asking us the dextrose. So supply is 70, and you guys recall, the math is order over supply times the amount. And for the base solutions, we'll just round to the nearest ml. So 15 divided by 70 times 1,000. What do you guys get? 214. So we'll round it to 214. So that's number one. Number two, now they gave us the supply strength for amino acid. So the amino acid strength is 10. We'll do the same math for amino acid. The order is 2. Supply is 10. Our final volume is 1,000 ml. So for amino acid, we will need 200 ml. So your answer for number 2 is going to be 200. Now for water, we got a QS with water. So how much water do we need to get up to 1,000? So we got 214 plus 200, which is 414. We'll subtract that from the 1,000. So for water, we need how much left? 586. Right. So question one, question two, and question three. Right. So for number three, all we have to do is QS to 1,000. So answer to number one, 214. Answer to number two, 200. Answer to number three, 586. So all three should add up to 1,000. So that's number one, two, and three. All right, let's go on to the next one, the next set. So I'll do the same. I'll make my chart. Solution, order, supply, ML. Number three. Four and five this time. So dextrose. Oops, sorry, number four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. Dextrose, amino acid, sterile water for injection. All right, number four. Our order of dextrose is 12. Our order of amino acid is three. Supply 70. And looking at number five, our supply here is 8.5. Total volume needs to be 2,000. All right, so we got our chart. We got our information. Let's do the math. So dextrose, 
12 over 70 times 2,000. What do you guys get? Three forty-three. Round to the nearest ml, and then we'll do the amino acid. Three over eight point five times two thousand. Seven oh six. All right. Water. We need to QS. So how much do we need to get? So let's add those numbers together. So that gives us a thousand forty-nine. So all we need to do is subtract a thousand from two thousand, and we get nine six nine. So number four, three forty three. Number five, seven oh six. Number six, nine sixty one. All right, last set of questions that are very similar. It's going to be seven, eight, and nine. draw our chart solution order supplies mls we need some dextrose we need some amino acid we need some sterile water for injection and our total volume this time is 1500 ml all right let's fill in order is 10 dextrose order for amino acid down here 2.5 We'll QS our water. Supply is 70. Amino acid is 10. So dextrose is 10 over 70 times 1500. What do you guys get? 214. And then for amino acid, 2.5 divided by 10 times 1500 375 all right now let's find water we need to subtract that sum so that is 589 so this is 7 8 and 9 9 or less for the answer for 7, we need 214 ml of dextrose, 375 ml of amino acid, and 911 ml of sterile water for injection. No, just to the nearest ml for base solution. Alright, so the rest should be very easy for us. It's mostly order over supply or order over supply times the amount. So for 10, what's our order? And our supply is 4. That's it. Punch that guy in. 11, same thing. Our order is 32. Our supply is 4. The answer is too easy. Right? You wish they can all be like this. And I said a lot of them are. But you just have to recognize 12, order is 120, supply is 40. Since they're in the same units, we just need to divide. 13, 150 units, supply is 100. Done, done and done. Fourteen order forty milligrams supply five milligrams same units all we got to do is divide all right fifteen they change it up now we got to do order over supply times the amount order sixty milligrams supply is a thousand and this time it comes as forty ml. So about yeah, just 2.4 ml. 16, yeah, it's just one. So we just do order or supply. So 15 over three. Getting you used to these units. So little m, big m, millimoles. Q 
KPO4, potassium phosphate. Seventeen. We'll need to round this guy. So three divided by zero point four six five. Just give me one decimal point. So we'll yeah, we'll round up to six point five on that one. Eighteen thirty divided by supply, which is four. Yep, so we'll just put in 7.5 on that one. 19, we got grams and milligrams. So just remember to convert into the same unit. So yep, I'll change the gram to 1,000 milligrams. That way we can divide it by the supply, which is 500 milligrams. So we will need 2 ml. Order is 40. Supply is 10. Easy enough. 4 ml. Alright. The last few ones are temperature conversion. Let's do these guys real quick. 21. 9C equals 5F minus 160. So F will need to plug in 95. 9C equals 5 times 95 minus 160. 9C equals 450. 475 minus 160. 9C equals 315 over 9. So round to the nearest tenths. So give me one decimal point. Okay, so even number, 35. Negative. So don't be scared of negative numbers. Just include them. 9C equals 5F minus 160. 9C equals 5 times negative 45 minus 160. 9C equals negative, how much is that? 225? Is it 5? 25? Yeah, negative 225. 9C equals negative 385 and then divide both sides by 9. Don't forget your negative sign. Negative 385 divided by 9 and to the nearest. So minus 42.7. One decimal point. Yeah, 42.7. One decimal point. You gotta round up forty two point eight. Yep. Negative forty two point eight. Make sure you have your negative sign. All right, nine C equals five F minus one sixty. This time we're going from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So we'll punch in the Celsius value. So we got 189010, 5F minus 160. So we got to add 160 to both sides. 5F equals 8. 6, 1, 1. And then we divide both sides by 5. Round to the nearest. 232. 
3.6 and cost 233. And then I'll do 24 up here. Ran out of space at the bottom. 24, we got 9 times 52 equals 5s minus 160. So we got 1, 8, 45, 46 equals 5s minus 160. Let's add 160 to both sides. 5s equals 8, 2, 6. Divide both sides by 5. All right. So that's all the math. I'll leave you guys the brand and generic. And then just double check your responses before you submit. Uh, homework week three Thursday for Fontoria.